Hello, so I quickly wanted to come here to just um, talk about the ongoing application. First off, for everyone who is applying to study in Sweden next year, I wish you all the best in your application and I just quickly want to address something. So I have been getting a lot of emails and messages, you know, people asking questions and I've been answering them as much as I can, you know. But there was a particular question that stood out that came in last week and uh, i really wanted to address it because i feel like this is one of the mistakes that you might be making as you are applying for next year when you go to www.universityadmissions.se to apply make sure you select the autumn 2023 selection for your courses now somebody reached out last week and she was saying hey inka I just got admission to come and study in Sweden and I'll be coming in January or next year and I want to know how to pay my school fees. So the first thing I asked was, when did you apply? She said, she just applied. Did you apply for the spring intake? No, she, she said she did not. So how come you said you got an admission and then you are coming to Sweden? So I told her to send me the email she got and then she sent me the email she got. And from the message that she got, I saw that the course she applied for was a unit. Let me, how do I explain it? You know, when you're like in uni, you're, like, you're doing like a five unit course, a seven unit course, blah, 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 blah. So that was the kind of thing she applied for. She applied for like a 15 unit course, I think. And then I was like, there's no way you are going to get admitted for that course. Now, she got an email saying that she needs to pay school fees, but it's not necessarily for the cost in court, like she has gotten an admission because this person in question was still seeking to get like scholarship and all of that. And you cannot get scholarship except you're applying for the autumn session. You get what I mean? So when you are applying for your application, make sure that you are choosing autumn 2023, number one. Number two, Make sure that you are choosing courses like programs. That's what I mean. Programs that has like 120 credits for two year courses, two year programs or 60 units for one year programs. There's no way that you are going to do a program either for one year or for two years that the unit for those courses will be like 15 units, 7.5 you know credit unit there's no way so i want you to look at all of these things when you are applying make sure your i's are properly dotted and your t's are crossed make sure that if you're applying for a one-year program it is 60 credits and if you're applying for a two-year program it is 120 credits so make sure you check all of these things like i told the lady she has to go back she hasn't gotten an admission you haven't applied for anything you know, even though even though you got an email saying, okay, you have not approved, you have not been approved to study this course, they are just telling you that because whoever is in charge probably assumes that you're already a student. Because by the time they check your records and do all of those things, in fact, one of the first things I wanted to understand was, are you currently in Sweden? And this person was like, okay, she's not in Sweden at the moment. So that technically means there was like there was an error in your applications or the way you went about it. So I just wanted to put it out there. The application process is still going on you know make sure you're doing everything that you are meant to do the results for your applications will not come out till next year april god willing so before the application closes in in january make sure that you you've done all of these things and you are checking it okay i just wanted to check in on you guys make sure you're doing everything that you need to do and if you still have more questions sliding into my dm send me an email and let me know and i would answer as best as i can i wish you guys all the best cheers see you in sweden for as many of you guys that can make it cheers Mwah. bye